Let's see what I do with these salad servers to make them a unique piece for your table. Hi everyone. So let's first go through how I've taped this up. These ones are on an angle. These ones go straight across. And these ones I've left bare so that I can create an organic line with the resin. So this is my mixing cup, measuring cup. And this is what I create for my resins so that I can mix into one cup and have the measurements accurate. So as you saw, I have a cup inside another cup and I've previously done measurements to suit equal parts and then I mark the lines on the outside cup. So then when I need to use resin I can mix both part A and part B into the one cup on the inside and put aside the outside cup for use next time. And then I've only put the resin into one cup to mix with. So I need to stir that up. You can see there it's getting quite pearly. So I need to mix that up for about three minutes. It is the Just Resin Diamond Coat, which I absolutely adore. Um, three minutes until that cloudy pearliness has gone away. So here I've got the colors. This one is Bermuda Bay, bright gold, dusty pink, red, black, titanium white, candy blue, and a tint of turquoise. So they're all Just Resin products. And so, yeah, this is a fully Just Resin, resin pour. So... All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I've just weighted them down, as you can see, with some, it's just vase filler, um, what do you call it, coloured sand, stuff to look pretty in the bottom, <laughs> um, to, so that I can hang the handles off the end of this cake rack and let the resin drip down. So what I'm doing is I'm just layering out the color on the handle <clears throat> and then uh, creating the feature with another color and then flipping it over and joining where the colors are dripping down the sides over to the back. Just joining that up with just using my finger and then settling it back down with those plates upon the top half of the utensils to mostly cure. This is one of those things that similar to the breadboards um, or if you're doing uh, a straight edge with and you want that really nice dome edge. So this is something that I will revisit. <clears throat> very shortly so in about three hours I'll come back and remove that tape so that it gives a really nice edge to where the resin ends well that's the plan <laughs> so you can see there I'm just joining up those colors at the back hitting, hitting it with a little bit of a torch and letting it relax while sitting there hanging off the cake rack. So this is the candy blue. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is where I wanted to add that tur turquoise in. I was going for a bit like oceany type handle if I was that's that was what I was aiming for. So some little white streaks and blown around with the heat gun so that it creates it's a little bit of softness, a little bit of potential wave movement in there. I actually thought the white had 
like blended a little too much so I hit it with some more so then I added a little bit of that white decorative sand to a little bit of white resin and just added it in at that bottom section so that's the organic finish to that resin feature on those ones in particular all right so once again just joining it up at the back and taking that last bit of resin and sandy bit right round all the way around the utensils awesome so there we go we'll just let those rest now for about three hours and see what we come back to oh then realized I forgot the gold so there we go <laughs> crazy days there's a bit of a close-up so you can see that we got a little bit of a mix of purple in there too which I think is lovely like that's another reason to choose two colors that will create another nice color the black and the red and the ocean type effect so this is really cool I thought of this after doing up some of those breadboards, the chopping boards, um, and I just thought, seeing as we can use resin to create this beautiful feature on on these kitchen boards, how about we do it on some salad service? So that's where it all came from. I was a little bit uncertain as to what to do with the back of the spoon handle the fork handle whichever it may be but I think it worked out pretty well because this was just my first go at how I think I would do these so I'm pretty happy with the results I am finding as I peel back this tape it is just general masking tape that it has bled a little into the oh what's that word the wood um the grain of the wood some of those have in certain areas so but this one no tape but i am do need to turn them around to hit the underside where they've got a little bit of a a bulb where the resin has sort of dripped so now just hitting them with the heat gun um, which is going to soften the resin just enough to let those bulbs relax back in and settle down so then it will be leave them overnight or till the next day before we have another another look at what we can do now come on puppy So there we go so you can see how the backs they're you know a tad messier than the front but at the same time that was what I could think of to do and I'm not that mad at it so yeah we'll see how we go I did think that they're a little bit messy so I did use some very fine sandpaper to just try and get right up along those edges and then I used some Posca markers because I didn't really feel like they looked finished to do right at the end of the resin feature and just to give it a little band before coming into the grain of the wood so there we have it they're all finished I think they look pretty awesome so let me know what you think thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so and ring that bell 
so that you can be alerted for all notifications of new videos. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, share it with others and leave me a comment below. Did you enjoy this? Has it inspired you? And what colours would you choose for a set of salad servers on your table? Thanks so much everyone. Be kind, be creative and be fabulous. Bye.